Hello, hello, and welcome everyone. We are playing World of Warships Legends. And we're playing Domination and Haven. So yeah, I am Phoenix61. And like many nights before this one, playing this battleship game. So we are in the Pan Asia um Cruisers. So I just recently unlocked this one. This, this um, Chumfun, Chumfun, Chum, Chumba Wumba pronunciation, as we all know, not my strong suit. Action stations. But with the Pan Asia ships, you get deep water torpedoes, so you can't hit destroyers with the torpedoes, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, we do get a torpedo reload booster on this ship, though, which is unique for a cruiser. Usually you only see those on the really crappy Japanese destroyers that hardly come with any torpedoes to start with. So this is this will be interesting, right? So we will see what we can do. Uh, lots of guns on this ship, lots of turrets. That's been really fast, so um, it seems to be like a similar setup to like, the, you know, the Atlanta. Um, you know, some of these ships that kind of fire quick. Quick firing and the bullets go really high, so you can fire over islands and stuff like that pretty easily. So a good torpedo range here. This goes all the way through sea, so I'm going to dump them in there. Even though, you know, I realize it's, you know, most likely going to get spotted by a destroyer. But in the outside chance that a cruiser actually goes into the zone, we might get very, very lucky. I just kind of figure, you know, by the time they get reloaded, I might actually want to use them, you know. So we got plenty of time there. So it's Pensacola, so we get spotted by something, so obviously there's a destroyer in uh, C, so we will pop our smoke screen and see if we can't duck behind it as quick as possible here. So I'm in full reverse, but we get the Benson spotted, or at least somebody does, so we're able to get shots off on him and get some defend medals here. And some defend banners. And now we are no longer spotted. Oh, so we must be close enough to that. Um, so we weren't spotted because we got in our smoke screen, but we're close enough to the destroyer in there that we get, did get spotted when we shot our guns, so I'm backing up trying to avoid being spotted anymore, so we're able to get unspotted, but now we've got a situation going on behind us. I think I might be just out of range, so using my reload booster there, just because this will probably be my only chance in the entire game to actually hit somebody with torpedoes. So I fire a little short in kind of anticipation of these uh, ships either turning in or turning away or whatever. Switch to AP. See what we can do with AP shells. Not much. That is the crappiest Citadel hit I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> but we're doing damage, so and he's still broadside, so I can't not use AP, right? <laughs> right. We can get a torpedo hit on him. So yeah, so now he's turning away, so I switched to um, explosive rounds. See if I can't get back in some smoke here. Yep, we got a torpedo hit. Algery, I mean, somebody needs to finish him off because I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> I don't want to be spotted. Oh, man, it's a good thing we moved forward, too. I didn't even think about the torpedoes that those guys have. So let's focus on what's in front of us here at this point, just because positioning's way better for us there. So I'm wondering if I can get away with shooting and not getting spotted since the smoke screen is here. It kind of just depends on where that destroyer went and where those that battleship is out there. So yeah, we're we're getting some freebie shots here, so we're gonna take them while we try and get this zone captured at the same time here. But yeah, I don't don't want to take broadside AP shells from a Pensacola. That'd probably be quite detrimental to us. Get some torpedoes on the way in case they move forward. And yeah, now we're spotted again. 18 seconds for a smoke screen to come back. We need that to happen sooner. Yeah, these guys are gonna start shooting us. Here they come. Here come the bullets. Oh, yep, that was pretty bad. I mean, it could have been worse. We weren't too badly broadside. All right, get the smoke screen going ASAP. Ooh, can we jack the New Orleans kill here? Alright, so I'm backing up too to try and get back into the zone at the same time here, because that would be beneficial, right? Cap the zone if you can. Nope, we don't get the kill on the New Orleans. 
One thing you don't get with this this cruiser is uh, sonar or radar. So you can sit in your smoke screen and not see the torpedoes that are coming at you. This is kind of how it's going to work, right? Mm, Belfast. Alright, he's going to eventually turn inside that island, right? So we shoot inside. I mean, I honestly don't shoot torpedoes at the island, right? So we kind of don't have too much of a choice. I'm going to get spotted if I shoot him, so I was waiting to start shooting. Um, but it looks like he's got sonar going, so now I'm spotted at it regardless anyway. So we will full force forward, switch to fireballs, and see if we can't light them on fire a little bit here. And I'll swing back around, see if we can't get torpedoes from the other side of the ship back on him. That Pensacola is uh, gone on the other side, so we don't have to worry about getting hit by him anymore. There's a battleship out there, though. I'm a little bit broadside to that lion. Leon. Alright, come on, give us a torpid. There we go, there we go. Two of them. Enemy that was pretty brutal. Destroyed. Devastating strike. Nice job. Nice job, me. Go self. Alright, so we're not spotted. So this will, So maybe now we can finally cap the zone, right? <laughs> maybe. Maybe we can get this captured. So I'm keeping an eye on where he's going. It'd be nice to dump torpedoes in that direction and get those off on that lion. Good range on these. Good range. Got three torpedo hits, a uh, flooding chance must be good too, because three of three uh, torpedo hits all, all cost floods. So if that lion kept moving in this direction, we can have a decent chance. Um, but I don't know if he'll keep coming this way. So we'll take the torpedo shots anyway. Use them if you got them. Yeah, oh yeah, he turned away. Jeepers. He's like, see ya. Everyone's dying over here, gotta run away. Something spotting us. Must that either that destroyer is moving in on us, which would be fine. Like we got lots of guns. Like ships that you know these cruisers that have guns that the turrets that move fast and guns that reload fast. Like it's just your they're destroyer killing machines, right? So this Benson firing at me is kind of kind of kind of silly on his part, especially now. So I know exactly where he is. So I am going to full reverse and left rudder to try and point at him so that when his torpedoes start coming this way, I'm not broadside and don't take a whole bunch of them. Ideally we take none, right? But um, this gives us a better chance to be able to spot them, even though we're in our smoke, and then move out of the way by being pointed towards him. So we got the ships, are they trying to shoot us in the smoke still? And they're going behind me. Okay. Okay. Alright, Benson's showing his face again. Let's see if we can't finish him off this time. So firing our guns at this range is going to get us spotted. So we need to take care of him quick so that we don't get bullets from that lion that just fired. So we might have enough time to get away with surviving here. And let's see, are there bullets coming? I don't see any bullets. We might be good. We might be good. Up to 91,000 damage. Dev strike, two kills. Somehow, two very weak Citadel hits. <laughs> I don't even know why that's called Citadel. Guess it's because of where we hit him, right? So the lion, we'll just try and start fires on him if we can. It's probably our best best bet for getting some decent damage on here. Seeing as how a Citadel hit apparently does like five. So some damage over time would be nice. So the smoke screen's gone, he's not behind that island anymore, so I know if I shoot my guns now I would get spotted. Um, so if we can't move, we'll try and move forward here and then get him that uh, this next island in between him and us. And then we could start lobbing bullets over it again. And we're about at that point. There we go. Still not spotted. He's the last guy on the map, though, so at some point you might as well just YOLO it and go gung ho and not worry about getting spotted. Highly unlikely that we lose this game, right? Yep. 
Yeah, these, so these, some of these ships are just, it's tough to hit. Even a battleship. Maybe it's just me. It's possible it's just me. But yeah, the bullets that lob and go far, they just take forever to get there. So that ship's, you know, any course adjustment he does is helping him not get hit by my bullets at least. See if we can't get this torpedo tubes around here. Send them that way. I mean, he's really going to have to turn in and want some action to, to take those, but yeah, he's probably going to go down before they even get there. And he's turning away, so those aren't going to matter anymore. Battle ends in five minutes. We'll turn into the left here a little bit. Yeah, I don't really think it's going to matter. But to the left, I mean, keep him to the left and us turn to the right, right? Ideally, I could have gotten back behind that island, but it really just doesn't matter anymore. Not been spotted, but yeah. So that's that. That is that guy. We'll see where we end on the leaderboard here. Got a lot of stuff com accomplished there. 3200 XP, that's pretty good. That puts us at the top. 330,000 credits. We will take it. Still don't have everything unlocked for this ship, so yeah, so I just unlocked it. <laughs> so we still got some work to do. But I'm using uh, shell grouping. Um, I don't know if this is the best inspiration. Traverse speed, like we already got awesome traverse speed and reload speed here, so might change him up. And the base trade on this guy is also reload speed. Torpedo speed, maybe we want HE shells, yeah. You fire more HE shells than you fire torpedoes, right? So like maybe it's more valuable to have the um, HE. So I might switch that. Smoke screen, um, that's always a, uh, it's always a good one to go for, especially as cruisers having that extended smoke screen duration. So I'm gonna switch to um, fully packed here too. I feel like I've got, I must've been, maybe I'm using this guy on, you know, just might, I might not, when the Pan-Asia ships came out, I probably didn't have a lot of choices for commanders, so I was probably using them for like a destroyer or something. So we'll at least switch this, um, this inspiration out. I'd rather have like shell grouping or range, like anything with like accuracy, right? Damage control, no. Azure lane, no. AP penetration multiplier, probably not, since seeing as how that... Those Citadel hits did like no damage, so multiplying nothing times nothing is gonna, yeah, nothing, right? <laughs> yeah, so this is what we, yeah, we gotta get rid of that. We need something better. Cruiser HE shell damage, maybe. Well, this one's Cruiser HE shell damage 4.5 as opposed to 4, so I'd rather have him. Right? What are our other choices? Yeah, that's kind of like stupid. Uh, and he's even like further along, to, or not as far along. Main battery range, that's another possibility. But with this ship, it's kind of like, you know, I'm already missing them at range, but yeah. We'll switch them, we'll see how this goes. We might have to change them back. Use some commander XP to boost that inspiration. Make sure to subscribe, we will have more World of Warships videos on the way and thanks for watching guys.